All right, so getting creative with fields to automate the process of counting parking stalls is all fine and good, but what about getting back to the basics? And I don't know anything that's more fundamental in quantity takeoff than counting the total number of blocks inside of a drawing. And there's several ways that we can do this. We can certainly do it manually. There's the B count or block count command. But what about something that's dynamic so that it will update as the blocks in my drawing are added and removed? So I can have kind of a, a dynamic, always up to date version of the count or block count in my drawing. How can I do that? Well, the secret to this is through a tool or function of actually the table command, which is known as data extraction. So let's jump into AutoCAD and see how we can put this to work for us. So here we are inside the same floor plan that we've had a look at a few times already. And in this drawing, I have a bunch of different window blocks in here. So I have a type A window and a type B window. And I'd like to maybe create a window schedule that gives me the total number of type A windows as well as the total number of type B windows inside of this drawing. And as I add or remove those windows, I would like those counts to update as well. So the way we can do this, if we jump over to the annotate tab, under this tables panel right here in the ribbon, we have a super awesome tool right here, which is extract data or data extraction. So I'll go ahead and click on this guy. Now, the way this works is you are going to create a data extraction template of sorts. So you can recycle this as you work on different drawings. So if you count the same things over and over again, you don't have to go through this configuration every single time. Nonetheless, we're going to create things from scratch. So we'll go ahead and say create a new data extraction table. So I'll do that. I'll hit next. It's going to ask me where do I want to save this? I'm just going to go ahead and put this here and call this Windows and hit save. And the way data extraction works is we can scan just the current drawing or what's super awesome about this is you can scan multiple drawings as well. So you can add as many drawings as you would like to this list. To keep things simple today, we're just gonna scan the current drawing, but know that you could add as many as you need here as well. Nonetheless, I'm gonna hit next. And that is going to scan my drawing for all of the stuff that I can extract out of it. Now, by default, it's going to show all object types. Now, in my case, I happen to want to count a block. So I'm going to uncheck the display all object types, and I'm going to tell it to only display blocks for me. Now, if I look through the list here, I have a GLAZ, which is my glazing or window block here. Now, this is a somewhat counterintuitive thing about this command. I'm actually going to uncheck the thing that I want. The reason for that is to uncheck all of this is going to take quite some time. And if I just uncheck the one that I want, I can then right click and there's a kind of a hidden little function here called invert selection. So I'm going to do that. It's going to leave me with just the A gloss block right there. Perfect. So let's go ahead and hit next. And what that's going to do now is take me to another page of this wizard. And this will show me all of the properties of whatever objects I selected in the previous page that I can put into a table here. Now, in my case, what I'm really interested in are the block attribute values, but note that they're drawing variables here as well. So you could run this on all the lines in your drawing to get a total linear length of all the lines on a particular layer if you wanted to. We're, of course, focusing on blocks here. But nonetheless, just like before, I'm going to uncheck attribute here and then right click and say invert selection that will just show me the block attributes of my window block. Now, all I really care about for the purpose of this exercise is the window type. So I'm going to, again, uncheck the thing that I want and then invert or right click and invert selection. Now, for the table that's going to be created, I'd like its column heading to just say type, not window type. It's going to be a window schedule. So I just want this to say type. So here under the display name column, in this interface, we can go ahead and click into here and I am going to update this just to say type like so. With that in place, we'll go ahead and hit next. And now the data extraction tool is going to do its magic. Now it's found some things that weren't uniformly scaled. That's fine. We'll just go ahead and accept that here. And here we have more or less created our schedule just like that. Now, what I'm going to do is rearrange things here a little bit. I want my type to be the very first column. And 
I would like things to be sorted by or sort of al sorted alphabetically. So we'll go ahead and just click on the type heading right there. That'll sort it A, B, C, D, and so on. Here is my count. Now, likewise, I don't care too much about the name of the block. So I am going to uncheck show name column right here. And just like that, I'll hit next. And the final or one of the final steps I have here is to tell AutoCAD where would I like this extraction to go? If I want it to be a static sort of snapshot, I can actually write this out to an Excel file if I'd like or a CSV or text file. But if I'd like things to be dynamic, go ahead and choose this first option, which is to insert data extraction table into the drawing. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and hit next. That is going to take me into a version of the table command. I'll go ahead and pick the table style that I'd like. And I'll give this a title as well. Maybe I'll call this window window schedule, just like so. And I'll hit next. And just like that, we're ready to place this table into my drawing. So I'm going to go ahead and say finish. It's going to ask me where I'd like to place that. We'll go ahead and place that right around here. And just like that, I now have a window schedule with those blocks placed in here. Now, what's super handy here is if I came in and maybe I pick on a couple of these blocks and let's say I add some type B windows in here. So there I just added four new type B windows. Well, if I just click on the data extraction table here in the contextual ribbon tab, we have a tool here, which is download from source. I just go ahead and click that and you'll notice that it updates the count for me just like that. So it's redoing the count for me just like that here inside of AutoCAD.